The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Epic Sewer Lair is full of incredible features. It's the perfect place for all your Ninja Turtles, and it's easy and fun to put together. So let's begin. First, lay out all of the parts and compare them to the instruction sheet. Most of the parts have numbers molded on them that correspond to the instruction sheet. The first step is to apply all of these awesome graphics. Refer to the numbers on the sticker sheet and the corresponding numbers on the instruction sheet to place them in their correct positions on the plastic parts. Begin with assembling the layer base using parts 1 and 2. Snap them together, then locate parts 14 and 50 and snap them together. Find parts 3 and 4, the back and sidewall subassembly, and snap together. Next, locate parts 5 and 6. With part 5 facing you, snap the back and sidewall subassembly you made from parts 3 and 4 onto the left side. Snap part 6 onto the right side of part 5. Locate part 7. Snap it onto the right side of part 6, completing the mid-wall subassembly. Locate part 8. With the flat part facing forward, snap it onto the rear of the layer base subassembly. Snap the mid-wall subassembly onto the base, aligning the tabs with the holes in the base subassembly. Next, snap the subassembly previously assembled from parts 14 and 15 onto the top of the mid-wall subassembly. Locate the two identical parts that are numbered 9. Make sure to check the numbers on the S-shaped sewer pipes as they are similar but not identical to others. Also, locate part 10, the straight pipe. Turn the base subassembly around until it faces you. Install the straight sewer pipe, number 10, on the right rear corner. Parts 9, the S-shaped sewer pipes, install onto the rear left side of the lair. Locate parts 16 and 17. With part 17 facing you, snap the angled sidewall, part 16, onto the left side of part 17. Locate parts 18, 19, and 20. With the subassembly of 16 and 17 you just completed, snap part 18 onto the right side of it. Next, snap part 19 onto the right side of part 18. Complete this subassembly by attaching part 20, the angled wall, onto the right side of part 19. This completes the second level subassembly. Locate parts 22 and 23, the arcade machines. Make sure the lever on the middle of the first level subassembly is down. Then install the arcade so that the backs are both facing the front of the lair. Make sure the doors are aligned in the closed position. If not, adjust them by firmly turning them so they are. Then place the completed second level subassembly onto the top of the base assembly and snap it securely into place. Make sure the arcade doors are completely snapped into place so that they can turn freely. Locate the two identical sewer pipes labeled Part 24, the two identical support walls labeled 21, and the second level roof Part 27. With the rear of the lair facing you and making sure the notch in Parts 21 is facing forward, snap both support walls into place. Snap the sewer pipes parts 24 onto the left rear floor of the second level. Then position the second level roof and snap securely into place front and back. Locate parts 28, 29, 30, 31 and 32. With part 29 facing you, snap the angled wall part 28 onto the left side of it. Snap part 30 onto the right side of part 29. Snap part 31 onto the right side of part 30. Then snap the angled wall part 32 onto the right side of part 31. Position the third level wall subassembly onto the top of the second level and snap into place. Locate parts 37, 37A and 38. 
Install the vault door 37A into part 37 by snapping in the hinge pins. Hold the vault subassembly with the hinge on the left. Snap part 38 onto the left side of part 37. The vault door subassembly snaps into place on the right rear of the third level. Locate parts 35, 35A, 36, and 36A. Insert sewer pipe 35A into the back of part 35. Insert sewer pipe 36A into the back of part 36. Install part 35 and 36 so they face each other onto the left rear of the third level. Locate parts 39, 39A, 42, 43, and 44. Install the manhole cover. Snap in the traffic barriers 42, 43, and 44. Make sure they're facing the front towards the fire hydrant. Now align the street level deck onto the top of the third level. Snap in the tabs on the front first, followed by the ones in the back. Find parts 40, 40A, 40B, and 41. Snap part 40A, the theater sign, onto part 40. The street light, part 40B, also snaps into part 40. Snap the theater entrance on the upper left-hand side of the street level. Install the trash can, part 41, right next to it. Notice that the fire hydrant turns the secret slide under the grate. Now, locate the graphic supports part 46, 46B, and the two identical parts 46A. Snap the two vertical beams, both labeled part 46A, onto part 46. Then, holding part 46B with the molded part number facing you, snap the two vertical beams onto the slots on part 46B. Snap the bottom of the graphic support assembly onto the rear of the street level. Don't snap this pin into the back of the street sign. We'll do that in the next step. Locate the large graphic, part 54, and the reinforcement clips, parts 49. Slide the large graphic with the cityscape facing forward into the channel on the left side of the street level, behind the theater sign, the trash can, and the big traffic barrier. Line up the round hole in the graphic with the round pin on the graphic support assembly and press it into the back of the theater sign. Make sure the clip mounts come through the small rectangular slots on both sides of the graphic. Cut the reinforcement clips off the sprue and snap them onto the clip mounts. There are clips on the back side also. The small graphic fits into the channel on the right side of the top level. Locate parts 34, 34A, B and C. Make sure the smooth side of the collapsing balcony, part 34, is facing up. Snap in the side rails 34B and C with the curved bottom rails forward. Snap in the decorative lanterns, part 34, facing down underneath the balcony. Install the collapsing balcony on the second level. Press the gray button to collapse the balcony. Locate part 17A, 45 and the two identical parts 51. Install part 45 on the upper street level near the fire hydrant. Install part 17A, the decorative flags, across the left hand tunnel on the second level. Install one of the rails, part 51, on the left hand side of the third level. Install the other rail on the right hand side of the second level. Locate parts 2A, 53 and 15A. Install hatch 2A on the lower level of the lair. Install part 53 onto the back wall of the lower level. Install part 15A, the secret trap sewer grate. To spring the trap, turn the valve handle. Locate part 47, the skateboard ramp. Install the ramp on the left of the lower level. You can place it so it points in any direction you'd like. Locate parts 33, and 48. The fold-down basketball hoop snaps into the center of the second level. Move it up and down for a basketball hoop attack. Slide part 48, the small backboard, over the lever switch that hides and reveals the secret arcade. Install the ladder part 52 onto the right side of the lair by snapping it into place. Assemble parts 25 and 26, the rear slides. 
Note the position of the tabs ensure it can only be assembled correctly. Install the slide in the rear of the lair. Snap the top in behind the vault door on the third level and the bottom on the second level near the trapdoor sewer grate. Locate Part 12, the catapulting bench press, Part 12A, the bench rails, and Part 12B, the barbells. Assemble the bench press by snapping the rails into the bottom of the bench. Install the bench in Raft's room on the right side lower level in the rear of the lair. Press the top of the bench to launch your turtle. Locate Parts 11, Leo's Rotating Weapons Rack, and Part 13, the Uskido Blaster. Install Leo's Rotating Weapons Rack in his room on the right side of the lower level. Load the Uskido projectile into the blaster by pressing it into the barrel until it clicks into place. Fire the blaster with a button on the left side. Install the Uskido Blaster in Leo's room behind the grate. Slides forward to open the grate and blast the bad guys. Do not shoot at people, animals, eyes, or face. Store the included skateboard on the vault door on the third level so it's always ready to go. Launch a barrel attack using the secret launch button behind the arcade game. Reload by placing it back inside. To place Donnie's lab from the turtle tank, remove this background piece, open the manhole cover, and set it in place. Now. You and your Ninja Turtles are ready for just about anything with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Epic Sewer Lair playset.